Hello, I'm going to title this part four, uh, but I think um, I think this is going to be more of a, a of, of a background. I want to answer some of the questions that people have sent me or have put in the comment section. Um, you know, maybe fill in some of the blanks or maybe put connect some of the dots for people because, you know, the, the, when I told started telling the story, it was purely from memory uh, from 2005. So <clears throat> I could have explained explain things a little bit differently to help you understand. But I want to fill in some of the blanks and then part five I will continue the story from where I left off in, in uh, part three. Uh, one of the questions people have asked several times is about the fence and how, <clears throat> how um, you know, how somebody could put up a fence and you couldn't take it down without getting arrested. Um, Kentucky has what's called an adverse possession law and it's, if you think of it kind of like a homesteading situation, but Bottom line, the law loosely interpreted means that if you put a fence up around somebody else's property and they don't say anything and you've had that fence up for 15 years, then you've adversely possessed that property and it becomes yours. So Frito's argument was it's his property because his fence had been up for 15 years. Uh, I won't get into how that all ended. It, it, it went to court, but I won't, I won't touch on that yet. But um, he did have a legal leg to stand on as far as um, not taking that fence down, or at least he thought he had a legal leg to stand on. Most people will not fight an adverse possession claim because he had about a half an acre of my property fenced in, and I can tell you from experience that to get that fence down costs nine thousand dollars, so most most people won't spend the money to fight somebody, and I don't know, I guess Frieda just never thought that I would either, but it's neither here nor there. Uh, but that's one of the reasons why I just couldn't just take the fence down um, was because he was claiming it and under the law I guess he, he had the right to make a claim. Now I think adverse possession is bullshit but you know of course I do. Um, but we'll you know I'll cover that in, in future parts of the story as far as how that fence thing turns out and, and all that good stuff. Um, other questions people asked me was uh, do you know the feds can take your property if they find marijuana on it and I do know that um, but I wasn't as concerned about that um, for different reasons that if I divulge I, it, it might ruin the story a little bit but another thing people ask well Leaf Dude in fact had said something to the effect I'm a paraphrase here Leaf so don't 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 clam up my ass by it uh, that might not be all that smart to use their real names if they are the, their real names I assure you that every single person that I have talked about in this story, uh, I use their real name. <laughs> judge Kelly uh, was uh, the judge magistrate at that particular time. Uh, I believe I mentioned that he didn't get reelected, but at that time he was. He was an elected official. I feel okay with using his name in this story. I don't slander him. I actually say he was an honest man and still feel that way to this day. Uh, one of the few honest men I've had dealings with there. Um, uh, Charles Garland, the uh, the cop, he was a cop, and you know, um, look, he was living in a known drug house. In fact, at one point, his name was on the deed of a known drug house. So uh, he was a law enforcement officer um, uh, for the state of Kentucky, paid for by the state through tax dollars, through my tax dollars in part. Uh, so I feel justified in using his name, and uh, you know, it is what it is. Um, same thing goes with Major Frazier. Major Frazier is, is an officer with the uh, uh, Kentucky State Police. His salary is paid by my, my taxes. Nothing I have said is, is, uh, is wrong uh, or, or not truthful. Everything that I have said in my videos is the truth and nothing but the truth. Uh, so if people like uh, Charles Garland, uh, a.k.a. Super Trooper, has a problem with that, you know, hey, I don't want to sue me. <laughs> explain to the jury why you were living in a drug house. I mean, just say it. Just, just say it. So, uh, yeah, and if you notice, like, Jerry in general, I didn't use their whole names. They're good guys, you know. Um, I don't. I never asked them if I could tell the story and use their names, but I didn't use their last names for a reason, they, you know. But, but they're good guys. I don't have any issues with them, and I can't imagine why they would be upset with me using their first names. Um, who else did I mention? Oh, well, Frito. <laughs> Frito. Uh, Daniel Lambert is Frito's real name. Now, other questions, uh, oh, and so to answer that though, I, I don't have a problem with using these people's real names. Um, you know, I believe in shedding light on cockroaches. 
<laughs> and, not, and not everybody in this story is a cockroach, but you know, for the ones that are, and maybe they get a little butt hurt in the end because I publicly use their names, you know, show me where I was lying. Show me where this story isn't the truth. It is the truth. So, no. If you want to see Sheriff Bennett, go to Bell County Sheriff's Department's website and there's a picture of him. And the only good news about Sheriff Bennett is my understanding is he is leaving, uh, or I guess he's retiring, and I say good riddance. Um, you know, and I did mention there are people in, in, in Bell County that would disagree with my assessment of, uh, of the sheriff. Hey, look, bottom line, every time I ever went to Sheriff's Department for help, Department for help I, you know, they, they were worthless to me. Uh, so the assumptions that I make that they were bought and paid for, that's an assumption I make. He, he's an elected official. You know, he's an elected official. If he can't take the heat, you know, show me where they did anything. They didn't do anything. You know, I, I told him I was having problems with a drug dealer, and they did nothing. And the excuse that he gave me about, you know, his budget and blah, 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 the golf work, is what he told me. So, I mean, you know, if, if Bruce Bennett, Sheriff Bennett gets butt hurt over that, well, you know what, he's got no one to blame but himself. So, I don't mind naming names. Do I worry that they're going to they're gonna take it out on me? I've worried for the last so many years that somebody down there was going to kill me. So, you know, I've been, and I had been told... At one point, I told a very high official in law enforcement that I would not pull over if a cop was behind me. I would not pull over unless there was at least three cop cars behind me because I know how that works. Once they put you in the back of that car, <laughs> you're done. So, I mean, maybe that sounds a little extreme, but, you know, hey. Uh, other questions. Um, People ask me, well, you know, I brought up guns. Did guns play a role? Did, do guns play a role in the story? And yes, they do. Guns play a role in the story. And I'm huge fan of the Second Amendment because of this, uh, well, because of a lot of things, but this, this story will bear out why I'm such a huge fan of the Second Amendment. Um, does anybody die? Listen very closely. One of the characters that I've talked about, one of the people that I've talked about, uh, in the end of this story will be dead. I don't want to ruin the story for anybody, but one of the people that I have mentioned thus far, uh, fairly soon will be a corpse. Uh, very, fairly soon in the story, he's been a corpse for a few years now. But, um, yeah, somebody does die. So, um, hopefully that answers some of your questions. I really am impressed with how many people are interested in this. Um, truth is always stranger than fiction and always much more interesting. Um, and I haven't even scratched the surface. I mean, I'm still in 2005. <laughs> I mean, you should see what goes down in 2009. All right, I should say. Um, so anyway, for those of you who've enjoyed this story, thank you very much. Uh, it is, it's real life. It's my real life. And uh, thanks for watching. I'm glad you were interested in it. Feel free to, to PM me uh, questions. Put questions in the, uh, um, in, in, in the uh, comments section. If, uh, if I didn't answer a question you've, you've sent me, I'm really sorry about that. But I got a couple of minutes to make a video. Uh, the, the first three, as you can tell, I wore the same clothes. They were all done the same night. Um, so from, from here on out, I probably, I don't know if I'll be able to make one every day, but maybe every other day or something like that. Um, or if I get a long stretch where I have some time, I'll go ahead and make uh, a series, maybe three or four in a row. But anyway, listen, thanks for watching. I hope, uh, hope everybody's enjoyed it. And I will see you soon.